I just wanted to do a video about this uh, HP Stream laptop that um, we've had for a couple of years now. Um, I'm going to do a few sections in this in this video. I'm going to start out with uh, with some info about the machine and a, uh, a review. There's not going to be too much tech spec geek speak in it, but I'll do a quick overview with some info about the machine. And then I'm going to uh, show you a few things you can do to uh, to make some extra room on the hard drive. If you've been researching these machines, you know that they only have a 32 gig hard drive. And that's been problematic for a lot of people. I'm going to show you how you can clean that up and make some room. There's a couple of things you can do. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'll do a real-time demo with the machine. We'll surf the net, we'll open up some videos, and you can see how it actually performs. They actually perform pretty good for the price. So let's take the machine. Um, we bought this a couple of years ago at a big box store up here in Canada. We paid uh, $275 for it. And, um, and it's, it's, it's an inexpensive, obviously, laptop. It's got a dual core uh, Intel Celeron processor. It's got four gigs of RAM. As I said earlier, it's only got a 32 gig hard drive. Um, and um, so it's a cheap machine and it feels cheap. It's, it's plastic, it's thin plastic. Um, uh, the keyboard and everything seems to function okay. Um, you know, I hear lots of people uh, complaining about the monitor, but uh, for me, it seems like it's, uh, like it's okay. I have no complaints. My gal uses it mostly for social media and surfing on the head and it seems to have worked just fine. So you're probably saying, well, if that's all she's doing, why don't you just get a Chromebook or a, uh, or a tablet? She needed a machine that she could put a small work-related program onto. So we had to get a laptop or a, or a PC. So that's, that's why I bought this. Um, uh, another thing to point out is, it, it, you know, in keeping with the price, it doesn't have a lot of connectivity. Um, you've got uh, three uh, USB ports a large HDMI port and, um, and that's it. You don't have an Ethernet port and um, so if, you're, if your Wi-Fi Wi board crops out, you're out of luck. It also has a slot for a 32 gig SD card. I've heard guys say on the internet that it'll take a 64. So that's handy. That's where you put all your, all your, uh, your photos and all your media and stuff that you're, you're saving. Um, one of the things they say about this machine is that you can use it in unison with the cloud. So if you're familiar with the cloud, you know there's a lot you can do with the cloud now. You can run apps from the cloud. and So that's how they, that's what they promote it as a, a machine that you know, is cloud-based. Something else I want to mention is um, I was looking at the back of this and never, I hadn't noticed it before, but you can't take the battery off. You have to take the machine apart to get at the battery. Uh, it, the battery is replaceable, but you have to take the machine apart. Um, you know, which which can be a finicky pain in the butt kind of thing. Um, so that might be an issue for you. Having said battery, it's it seems to get a lot of life. About eight hours. Um, I've seen it advertised as ten hour up to ten hours. But my gal gets about eight hours on the battery, so that that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty acceptable. So it does have the built-in camera and, and mic for uh, for Skyping and things like that. The big complaint you'll hear about these machines, if you've done some research online, is the small hard drive. The fact that it's only have that it only has this 32 uh, gig uh, hard drive. And uh, in the next section, in the next couple of sections, I'm going to show you how to clean that hard drive up and make some room. So stay tuned. Something else I should mention, I wanted to use the uh, screen recording feature that you're supposed to access in the uh, Xbox app in Windows 10. And I thought, it ha I, thought I had it working, but um, there was a huge lag between the video and the audio. The, the audio was way ahead, so I just couldn't get it to work. I, I, I had a quick look around on the internet and I just couldn't get it working. So, I don't know, anybody has any input on that? Any comments on that? Uh, Please, please put them in down below, appreciate it. Let's go ahead and run the recovery tool and that will give us a clean install of Windows 10 without all the bloatware. So we start, let's go to the control panel. Just start typing control panel in the search 
window. Let's go there. And uh, to get this view of the control panel, you're going to want to go up here and select large icons. And then let's go down here to recovery. Let's click on that. And what you're going to select here is if you're having problems with your PC. Let's select that. Here we are at the recovery window, and then we're going to get started. Recover, reset the PC, get started. So now this one we have two options, remove everything or keep my files. So if you were selling this laptop, you'd want to remove everything. That would get rid of all your personal information. But um, we just want to clean it up. So you select that, and now the Windows is organizing itself. This machine came with uh, some bloatware, as HP's always do. It came with a McAvee, and uh, it came with a one-year trial of uh, Microsoft Word 365, Office 365. Why anybody would buy a machine like this that needs to run Office is beyond me. Um, you know, you're gonna if you need if you need Office, this isn't the machine for you. As we all know, Office takes up a lot of real estate on um, on any machine. So, with your little 32 gig hard drive on your stream, you definitely do not want Office. But anyway, this procedure, recovery, this is easy. Anybody can do this. Um, it takes about an hour. Now it's showing you the apps that it's going to remove. I've run this program a few days ago. I'm not going to run it again. And I've already reinstalled my Google Chrome. I use um, CCleaner and uh, AVG Antivirus, the free version. I've used that for probably 10 years and um, I've never had a problem with it. So then you're just going to go ahead next and follow a couple of prompts. As I said, it'll take about an hour, but you're going to notice a difference right away. The machine's going to be a bit crisper and a little faster. You'll have to go ahead and reinstall your apps like Google Chrome and CCleaner or AVG free if that's what you have to use, but you'll have a nice clean Windows 10 install. So that's the first thing you want to do with that with this machine. I'm going to cancel this. And the next thing you're going to want to do is disable Windows Update. And we're going to do that next. So to disable win Windows Update, here's a shortcut trick to get to one of the search windows. It's uh, Windows R, the window, uh, the window key in R gets you to a window. And you're going to want to type in services dot msc and you're going to want to go to that page and you're going to want to scroll right to the bottom here and and find windows update you're, you're going to want to find windows update and double click on that to open it now here at the startup type you're going to want to select disabled and you want to, I've already done it, but you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to do this right after you run the recovery tool. Because if you don't, <laughs> Windows is going to start updating. And, um, and you don't want Windows to start updating. As I said, we, we, my gal has been using this machine for about two years. And um, it was... The memory was getting full and, and she wanted me to try to clean it up again for her. And so I sat down thinking, okay, all I have to do is run the recovery tool. So I did that, but I forgot to turn Windows Update off. And right away, right away, Windows started updating and the memory was disappearing. And and uh, and I remembered, oh, Windows Update, i got to turn it off. So I did that. And, um, and I had to run the recovery tool again. And... Even after I did that, and I started looking at the hard drive, it seemed like I didn't have that much disk space left. I only had about 5 gigs. I started looking around and looking around on the internet, and looking around on the machine in the storage directory there, and I had something called Upload Pending, and it was taking up 4 or 5 gigs. So, um, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that if that happens to you. So let's go ahead and do that, get rid of Upload Pending. Okay, so here's the... Uh the code that you want to type in, uh, uh, the, the window key R to open up this uh, this window, and then I'm going to super this because it's quite a long um, it's quite a long code, and it's 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 case sensitive, so make sure you type it in correctly. Um, 
and then we're going to go to that window. And I've just done this, so it's probably going to be empty, but um, I've just done this. This window was was full, and one of the items in the window was Windows Update Pending. And it was a, almost a 4 gig file. Selected them all, right click, delete, and uh, and it got rid of them all. So so that's another trick that uh, that's another trick that you might need to do if you don't turn Windows Update off immediately. Okay. So if if you're getting into this and delving into it on the internet, you're getting you're getting way too much information, way too much Windows 10 information. And uh, one of the things that you discover is that there's an old version of Windows 10 on the machine. Um, and we're going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to show you how to delete that. Before you do that, you're going to want to um, make up a, uh, a boot drive on a USB a flash drive. You need at least uh, 8 gigs of uh, memory. And I found a link for, for a really nice video where the guy explains it succinctly and quickly. And there's a link to that below here in the information box. And that's how to make yourself a boot drive so that you can delete the old version of Windows 10 that's on here and if you have a problem you have a backup on your on your flash drive like I said that link is down below so make your boot drive before you continue on to this next step which is deleting the old version of Windows 10 that's on there so let's get it let's go ahead and do that now let's go see if we can't find a previous version of Windows on here that's that's taken up a bit of real estate click on the uh, gear icon that's usually a settings icon. And we're going to click on systems. And we're going to go on here to sort. This is something I've just discovered recently in Windows 10 um, through my research the last time I, the last few days when I've been working on this PC. And it's kind of a neat feature. So you're going to want to click on your, your C drive, double click on that. And it's going to open up, it's going to show you a breakdown of uh, what's on your PC and, and what's, what's stored on there. Um, you know, there's a lot of things here, but looking where you're going to look for this previous version of Windows is in the temporary files. I've just done this, so there's not much there, but you click on temporary files. And when I did this the other day under previous versions of Windows, I had about 12 gigs in there or whatever it was. So I, I selected that and, um, and then you've got the window to remove files. Uh, it took about 20 minutes because it was such a big file. But uh, so after that ran, I, I went back to to my uh, storage homepage and, and I picked up a, a few gigs. I was actually running out of real estate really quick. But after I got rid of that previous version of Windows, I picked up some real estate. And um, that really helped a lot. So the final thing you can do, um, which I think is is the best if you want to take it on is to give yourself a completely clean install of Windows 10 using your boot boot disk that you created in um, in the with the uh, Windows Media Creation Tool. Um, I, I've got to, I'm going to put a link. There's a link down in the information box where a, a guy walks you right through this process on one of these machines on an HP stream. It's a great video. I think he does a great job of it. I haven't done it myself yet. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the way the machine's working. But when he was finished, he had about 18 gigs free on his hard drive, which is, um, you know, not too bad. This machine, if if you don't mind doing a few things, spending a bit of time with it, I think it's a good machine. And running the, running the recovery tool and turning off Windows Update, although that's easy to do. Anybody should be able to do that. Um, but just be advised, you might have to revisit the machine in a couple of years and, and do some maintenance. So if you're, as long as you don't mind doing some things like that, I think the machine's, uh, I think the machine's fine. It's certainly been good for my gal. Um, I can see this being a great machine for, uh, for a student who needs to be able to create documents, um, you know, and print things out. He needs to create documents and things like that. And also for, uh, for, for children, young teens, 10, 11, 12. Um, if they, you know, spill their Kool-Aid onto it or whatever, it's, okay, that's a bummer, but it's not like you've lost a MacBook Air. Uh, same thing for traveling. Great for traveling. They're light. And, um, you know, you've got the 32 gig uh, 
uh, memory card in there for backing up your pictures and things as you go along and they're light and if it gets stolen or if you lost it it's not like you're losing a big investment so so I think for that reason that, that the machine is it's definitely got it's definitely got its uses um, so there you go let's close out let's um let's do some real-time surfing on the net um, let's go to my YouTube channel and um, open up some videos and see how that works if, if you haven't been um, to my YouTube channel check that out I've got lots of uh, documentaries featuring the people and places on Vancouver Island as well as my how-to videos my series on professional video production and uh, I've got a going to the country series all kinds of interesting things my my website's the best way to explore my content. My website is basically like a TV station, where there's all these different, all these different channels with all this different and all these different shows, uh, and series with all my content organized right there. So check that out and uh, and thanks for watching. Cheers.